Okay, so, so the left hand one was your kind of before chipping, which looks very different now to your after chipping setup or your short shot setup, I call it, to be fair. This with the stance, full setup, basically someone doing a full shot, yeah? Now, if you're in a setup to hit the ball fully, but then your brain goes, no, no, we've got to go short. And the way that people try to go short is by using this a lot less, which means this then stops and that then shoots through. We see a sort of technique that causes a little bit sort of scoopy. Okay, you're going back as far as you were there now. Very small swings there. And then when you get to play the golf ball, swing back. And then, whoop, and the hands then sort of flick through. Head staying down, not much room there. And this sort of curvature there with the hands. Not really much going on there. Just a bit of a yeah, scoop yeah. flick. And the sort of right side kind of just sort of coming through. is a bit of an afterthought, okay? What you really want to feel, okay, is the sort of narrowness of the stance there, okay? Weight's going to favour that left side. But you're just fairly balanced in sort of setup. Like I say, you just stood down a cue, just waiting and just a little sort of sink into that left knee slightly. But because the stance is narrower, the ball's back in the stance now, or seems to be back in the stance, what you could do on this one, it probably move the club a little bit forward with the handle, so your hands are a bit more by your left thigh slightly. Yeah. With that loft or that golf club, you've got plenty to send it up in the air to clear what you've got to try and clear. But the, the main focus now as you swing this golf club, we're going to go back. As you go back, we're going to twist through to the ball of that club face now pretty high there and a continuation through to target. And that felt to you like a fairly full swing, and it went like 23 yards. Because <laughs> yeah. the lob wedge has got a lot of loft and wants to go up that way. Yeah, So it's keeping that body turning through at all times. Whether we're doing a shot with an A time, it's going to probably be kind of this far back. Sorry if I go from there, about there to there would be like an A time shot there. That kind of length of swing, we go about 25 yards. Obviously a wedge or nine would go about there. And the lob wedge is going to be back here somewhere. So depending yeah. on which club you have, if you've got it at the golf ball, sort of 25 yards or so, that's how far back the lob wedge is. There's probably a pitching wedge. There's your eight time, yeah. give or take, in terms of backswing length, yeah? yeah? But it will give you a very different type of shot. Obviously, the lob wedge we know is going to go like that. The pitching wedge will sort of start there, and then the sort of seven nine will sort of go there and roll the rest. They'll all end up down here. Yeah. But one's going to land a lot closer, one's going to land there, one's going to land up there. Yeah. If there's something in the way, i.e. a bunker, <laughs> that's a blue bunker, hang on, if there was a yellow bunker in the way, and you have to try and go over that, you need some loft. You yeah. couldn't land a seven or eight and then roll to the bunker, obviously. No. So the decision has to be made based on what you've got to do in front of you, yeah? And the lie will dictate that. If the lie's horrible and you can't get a log wedge to the bottom of the goal and get up in the air, no. Then you have to go around a different direction yeah. <laughs> and find the best way to get on the green in the next couple of shots to try and reduce your score. Sometimes, unfortunately, going for the flag isn't the best option. No. The lie just so if I had a tree in the way, so right, go over that tree, you go, well, I can't. What would you do? You wouldn't try to go through it, you go, okay, I'll go round it. Yeah. Because a bunker's underground, oh, I can go over that bunker. Yeah, you could get over it, but there's a lie good enough to allow you to do that. Yeah. And if you duff it in the bunker, you feel a bit of a fall when you've done that, you're like, oh, then you duff the next one and it's a, a knock on effect. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Very good. Good stuff. Very good. Well done.